I think probably the worst thing that you can do in an elementary school is have any kind of wireless technology. Um, putting Wi-Fi into an elementary school just doesn't make any sense to me at all. These are the most sensitive people in our population and they're going to be adversely affected by chemicals or by anything else in that school environment. So, for example, cancers in children are much more virulent than they are in adults. They, they develop uh, very rapidly, whereas an adult the cancer is a very slow-growing thing. We think that attention deficit disorder might actually be related to some of these exposures and there's very limited uh, evidence that autism might also be related to uh, living in a high electromagnetic environment. Hi, I'm Austin Lamond and I'm 14 years old. Uh, I'm, I go to Mountain View School. I've been suffering weird headaches and dizziness and displacement. Like, it feels like my head is, like there's a lot of pressure in my head and it's like repulsing like this. And I just feel like displaced and then when I'm not there, if nothing happens, so, and like, I get really like weak, and, and like, I can't, it's hard to hold a pencil too, and I can't think straight. Starting this year at Mountain View, um, I've been getting a lot of headaches, and it's been making me really dizzy, and um, like, it feels like, like I can't concentrate, and you feel like you're not really there. It's hard to explain. The thing that concerned us was that she always got better when she got home. And um, we couldn't figure out what was going on. We got our eyes checked and found out that wasn't it. And actually had everything checked and found out that wasn't it. And she still, to this day, when she goes to class, probably about, probably about four out of the five days that she's there, she's coming home with a, with a headache. And I mean significant headache where she has to take Tylenol or Advil. Um, my children, they are students at Mountain View School and in the last couple years I've noticed um, that my children have had headaches which concerns me because I don't know many children that do get headaches. My name is Gigi, Mountain View parents have two kids at Mountain View, one is in grade six, one is SK. My concerns are Georgie used to complain of headaches while in school so then I decided okay take the next step go to the doctor. So we went and saw the doctor. She interviewed Georgia and asked, you know, if these headaches occurred while in school, at home, and the outcome was they were only occurring while she was at school. They weren't occurring on the weekends, and now being in a portable, nothing, no headaches. So, I mean, what do you say about that? Strange. As a parent, I wonder, how does it compare to a cell phone tower, for example? You know, we've read these studies that show that living within three or four hundred meters of a cell phone tower can increase your chance of all kinds of ailments, headaches, dizziness, um, even cancer and leukemia. What if you measured that? And then what about at our school? Could you measure what the microwaves are at our school where the kids are sitting every day? Even if you measured outside of the windows, right where the kids are sitting in the kindergarten class, could you detect microwaves? Since I found out about the Wi-Fi and some of the symptoms, it makes me think that um, we don't know enough and that maybe we should be cautious and before it's completely proven safe, um, I would really choose to hardwire all of our computers, which does the same job that the Wi-Fi does. About two years ago, my son started getting some strange sensations, and it was usually at night time. It would last about 10 or 15 minutes. I had like, my eyes, everything looked big, and when my mom talked in bed, everything sounded like really, really loud. His, his bedroom was right over where we kept our computer, I realized later, but he would get really strange sensations at bedtime and he would call it the weird brain thing. And I'd ask him to, to describe it to me and he would describe it as uh, the windows and doors were changing shape and my voice was getting louder and softer. So his perceptions were quite distorted and I was worried and I suspected it was the computer. One day I just, I called the phone company and I just said I wanted to switch to cable and it was, it was uh, just a matter of changing the modem. He's never had that weird brain thing again, ever. The computer was right under me, so um, it was 
pretty obvious. With the mounting information, which is now, in my mind, become evidence rather than uh, just information, that it was prudent to have uh, the precautionary principle as our guiding post in this regard. And because of those biological effects, potentially health effects of continuous exposure, even to uh, you know, the low level exposure that you get with, with Wi-Fi.